Hey guys, I know that you're probably really excited about starting kindergarten tomorrow, but I'm feeling a little bit nervous and I have butterflies in my tummy and I wonder if you do too. But I thought I'd read you this story called Kindergarten Rocks and maybe it'll take care of those butterflies and I'll see you in the morning, okay? Kindergarten Rocks by Katie Davis. Dexter Dugan and I know everything about kindergarten. This is because I am actually going to be a kindergartner very soon. It's next week, Dexter. I am an expert because my big sister Jessie went there too one time. My dog Rufus is an eensy teensy weensy bit scared about kindergarten. You don't have to be scared, Dex. You're going to love it. Jesse went to kindergarten a long, 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 long time ago. But she still remembers it, even though she's going into the third grade. Rufus is scared I'll get lost on the way to school. The bus driver knows the way. Don't worry, kindergarten rocks. When Jess went to kindergarten, she wasn't big like she is now like me. She wrote like me and she drew like me too, only not as good. I got Jesse to help me make the list of things Rufus was scared about. I'm not worried though. Kindergarten will be a piece of cake. No problem. I can't wait. He looks a little scared. When the bus came the next morning, the driver seemed like he knew what he was doing, so I got on. Rufus was still worried, but Jesse had a great idea. If Rufus gets scared, just give him a hug. When we finally got to school, I couldn't wait to see my classroom. There are some kind of good surprises about kindergarten. For one thing, my friend Joey from preschool was there. Rufus was so happy to see him, he forgot to worry. We made art and cooked food and smushed Play-Doh. I got to write letters and build a gigantic tower and play in the imagination station and look at books. Then we went to the library. That's where you get to go if you want to know about snails or soccer or outer space or shark guts. Ew. You can borrow a whole book all about it and keep it practically forever. At lunch, you get to eat with all your friends in the cafeteria. It's exactly almost like a restaurant. And there are people called custodians who clean the whole entire school and they help you even when you spill your milk by accident and you are scared you'll get in trouble. After lunch, everyone goes to recess. Joey says you can't get lost playing, I am a monster and you are a powerful monster getter. Because if someone's always chasing you, how can you get lost? goodness, let's see where he went. Why don't we get Jesse to help you find him? Maybe I left him in the cafeteria or the bathroom. Ooh, I'll check down in the library. Let's see if he's on the playground. Rufus is lost. Rufus is gone and we couldn't find him anywhere. Wait a second, there he is. He's not lost. Rufus was so happy to see me. He knew I'd find him the whole time. You're staying at home from now on. I'm going to learn lots of stuff in kindergarten, but the thing I learned today was kindergarten rocks. I'm so excited to see all of you tomorrow morning, and I hope you come with your bright, shining, smiling faces. See you tomorrow.